All right, you just got to do it, right? God. Flying through the sky, hit with the and right. You're never gonna stop us with the brightest light. Think about the times you never fell apart. Well, now we're so alive with the wildest past. Spending every night with my summer breeze. Cool young and free, pure energy. Playing all the songs that we want to hear. Cast, we could be dead in the morning. What up, Internet? It is your boy, Rhino Rider, back again. This is a kind of a special episode of a Rhino Rider's vlog. First of all, this is episode number 40. That's right, 4-0. That's pretty exciting in and of itself. But also, as you can see behind me, um, if you've been following my content and my journey, you'll know I'm currently working on a TV series outlining it. This is kind of how I do it. I've been trying to document and showcase the process. Well, good news, folks. I believe, I'm pretty sure, I have successfully transferred all this data. There's more over there. All this data into um, a format that um, I'm not missing anything. Um, as beautiful as it is to aesthetically for me to look at, um, it, I just see the story. Um, uh, it is good to unclutter and to clear and to erase and start fresh. And I have everything I need. I have I have much more than a skeleton. I have I have every piece I need to tell the story. Now it's time to just continue to chisel away. Um, and so uh, I thought I would. Uh, that would be the subject of this vlog, turning 40, and uh, um, yeah, this, I'm like weirdly surreal, but here we go. So, I just, I got a picture that I've documented, it's all documented, I got pictures of everything. All right. Um... This is weird. This is actually very hard for me. Um, but it's all shit. <sighs> all right. You just got to do it, right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am physically ill right now. I'm not even joking. Uh, so this has been up for, um, I think, about four months, three or four months. So that's a long time um, to have this be the only thing you're staring at every single day. Um, ugh. I'm like, do not feel good. Uh, but this is the right thing to do. Um, Gotta clear it out, unclutter. <sighs> now I'm getting weirdly excited. Now I'm like, it's like I'm gonna be retelling the whole story over again, which I guess is the purpose, is the whole point. Um, you know, uh, if you study, you know, and everybody says they study, they read the books and stuff, and whatever. I'm not going to name drop any anybody or anything, but uh, successful storytelling is is a process to get it right. It is, you know, it is not something that it's it's almost like it's 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 so hard to do well. I mean, think about what we're doing. We're trying to. Um, make a human being, make multiple human beings pay attention and watch a story for however long. That's a real skill to be able to do that. So, oh boy, I hope this is... Ugh. I just 
yank it over. I might have to stop and like take pictures of everything again, or I might just tear it all down. Just tear it all down. Tear down the wall. Um, so what was I saying? Uh, it's difficult. So what basically what this process was was me taking a big chunk out in terms of if I'm relating it to sculpting, uh, you know, a great sculptor can turn any piece of wood or any rock, you know, into into a, a work of art with just time and, um, and a vision and uh, patience and a process. I don't think uh, writing is any different. You start with the idea, you start with a blank canvas, um, you fill that canvas with, you know, a story. I mean, that's all this is. Start to finish a story, a very long one, but a story. And, um, and you just start putting it together. But I, I just, I don't see, I think it's, uh, and, and this is just, this is me going on kind of a limb, but I just got a feeling, a sense from people uh, and just people um, aspiring like me, um, maybe just haven't put the time in, maybe newer to, to writing. Um, I almost take it really personal, like if their writing isn't good, and I get it. Um, I mean, this is this story is very personal to me. I'm, I bled in this story, in bleeding. But uh, but if it doesn't hit an audience, then I fail. <laughs> Who care how personal it is? So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this uh, next generation is going to turn out, filmmakers. So I think um, I think we have to have some real conversations. People have to do some real self evaluating um, and and think if writing is for them. And here's the thing: writing may be the thing. Screenwriting may not be the thing. I mean, the odds of getting your script made into a movie are so astronomical, yet the opportunities, if you're a skilled writer or enjoy writing, there are so many opportunities. I published my first book this year um, through Amazon, self-publishing. I wrote a book. I didn't, nobody paid me to do that. I did it on my own. Um, I put it out there. Now I can say I'm a published author. Uh, your next meeting that you have, you can say that now, um, whereas you couldn't before. That's going to make the executive or whomever you're trying to impress, make, you know, make it look that more, much more important in their eyes. Not that I think that matters, but you know. Uh, I, a lot of uh, stuff on there about, um, you know, how do you get your scripts read? And uh, to be honest, I don't know how to answer that question right now. Um, uh, because my answer to that is, well, I've been in Los Angeles for uh, over 10 years networking and, and working and um and i've set up for it as uh you know mining resources and following up with resources and and always pursuing never you know until you obviously hit a dead end or or the person um steals from you or whatever <laughs> not nah, uh um you just keep following you know stay in touch with those with those connections you've seen a lot of the people i still uh stay in touch with on some of my podcasts and things like that. These are other people that have been in this town for years. And so, you know, and then you, you work and you do things like this. And, um, you know, how did I meet Kaya? That's, uh, 
uh, a completely random story where I met him through another friend of mine. He's an actor. We were partnering on another film. Both of our kids just happened to go to the same school. We started talking one day and um, connected on that. And we were going for a run. We were randomly running by Kaya's house. And he said, you should stop and say hi to him sometime. I did. Met with Kaya for coffee. We, uh, and it was just the right timing. Um, he pitched me a story. Uh, that was, I think it was two siblings at the time. Uh, you know, just kind of going into Brazil into these jungles and, and going after their father's treasure. You know, just kind of a broad thing. And, uh, it just, uh, it was the right timing. I hadn't written anything for a year and a half. I hadn't written anything um, uh, new. The last thing I had, I had written was an adaptation from a book, uh, a true story. So that was just, uh, that was me. Sorry if you can't see me. Uh, that was me just piecing together uh, a story from, from their book. But uh, I say there wasn't that much creative in it. There wasn't. Um, it was more like solving a math problem. But this, uh, so I wanted to write something. Hold on, I'm just checking to see if we're still recording. Is this hey, so I'm editing the vlog right now, and like the look, and I just wanted to stop it real quick and say, so you've seen that uh, there were some mic audio issues. It's because the battery was running out and I didn't find that out until the next couple of segments after this. So um, uh, I'll show you what happens, but you're not gonna be able to hear anything. Uh, Mr. Scratchy stops by, I put the camera outside, I take down some more thing and I had some great shit I was saying, but here's the good news is that I fixed, replaced the battery and the, uh, the rest of the, the vlog, the audio is great. And I end with some really inspirational shit. So s skip to the end now or uh, just keep watching. It gets better. Later. things I'm going to be doing uh, is starting a lookbook. Um, Kaya is going to be doing one as well. Um, Kaya is also in Brazil right now uh, and he's scouting locations and he is uh, going to be capturing some footage and so that we can put together a teaser trailer um uh to go with our packet basically here's our plan here's what uh uh here's what our plan is for the next two months this is perfect the timing is great um i'm going to spend july working on the pilot script because okay here's what we're doing why are we writing this TV series? Why a TV series and not a screenplay? Uh, I'll tell you why. Um, because of people that we have in the industry that we know of, that we uh, can send it to, that are in the TV streaming business. Specifically, uh, one with a big red N. And we happen to have a little insider information uh, in terms of exactly what they are looking for right now. This 
project fits right into that mold. So, uh, everybody takes August off in the industry uh, and in this town. So you're really not gonna get any answers or be able to take any meetings or things like that during August. It's just, um, it's just the it shuts down for August. Uh, and so um, we're gonna take advantage of that time to put together a packet. And in that packet, it will have uh, polished, finished entire script for the pilot episode, the very first episode. It will have uh, the three to four page uh, treatment outlines for each of the eight episodes. Um, maybe some teaser art, um, a log line, synopsis, uh, lookbook. Uh, I'm doing one, Kaya's gonna do one. And then a about uh, 90 second, give or take, teaser trailer showing footage. Uh, he's gonna get in Brazil. Uh, and just kind of showing the tone of what we're going for. Uh, and that, 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 I mean, that's, we're pretty excited. I think that's a really good package, a uh, decent package to present. Um, so again, to go back to that question, um, you know, some of you who maybe don't live in Los Angeles, and put all this work into, let's say you did the exact same thing into a TV series and uh, and had all that kind of stuff, uh, what would you do then? What would I do then? Um, I would, uh, I would uh, sign up for IMDb Pro. So I have access to um, real emails and uh, phone numbers and addresses for production companies. I would make a list of uh, 100, 50 to 100 production companies and 50 to 100 um, maybe distributors. Uh, no, not distributors, production house. 100 production companies um, that would do something like this that work in TV and uh, and cold email and you send a hundred and and maybe have the entire package link it up to a website you can get a website for cheap on Squarespace you can build it yourself um, you can link up everything on there you can have your uh, your teaser trailer up on YouTube or on Facebook. You can run some ads to get some, garner some views if you, you know, so that looks like something to people. Uh, present that and then, um, and cold email. If you cold email a hundred of them, um, you'll get responses from maybe three to five and maybe two will look at it. Um, but that's two more that wouldn't have. Um, so, I would do that, um, uh, and by exam and and I'm speaking from experience. Like uh, I did this kind of stuff when I was trying to find distribution for both of my feature films. Um, and that just sounded kind of douchey. Uh, I would do that. Um, I don't, know. I don't know. Well, I didn't think. I don't know. It was going to take me as long to take all this stuff down. I don't have stuff to talk about. <clears throat> um. One another cool thing that we do in this uh, story is I play with time and structure. I'll, um. I kind of dabble into a, a Christopher Nolan uh, field which was fun and very challenging to do. But it works. It's going. Uh, this is, I think, my favorite episode. I, mean, I don't know, but it's the one I'd like to uh, perhaps direct. We'll see. 
Again, the story is very personal. It's uh, very personal. All of my childhood, a lot of my childhood angst in here. Definitely exercised a lot of demons writing this. And still am. Um, along with uh, certain companies that we're sending it to, we also have uh, a couple of uh, actors, name actors, uh, who we know or know their agents that uh, have agreed to take a look at and read. That helps because that can get you, um, you know, straight to the, uh, the Iron Gates. If you have a letter of intent or, you know, the, the go-ahead with, uh, with the name actor. But that, there's still no guarantees with that. Uh, a lot of people think that. A lot of people think, uh, oh, if I could just get in contact with this actor, it's a perfect you know, project for them, they would say yes, they do stuff like this all the time, blah, blah, blah. You know what? I have played that game as well, and I have gone that route, and I have found it unsuccessful. Um, I think actors have a surprisingly less uh, control over their careers as, as you think. Uh, the majority, thanks. And if I did forget anything, I don't know, you can always come up with something new. It's the last one. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's talk, um, I don't know, feedback. Uh, what would you guys like to know? Um, I have recently uh, decided to spend uh, more time, as much, you know, devote as, as much as I can every day, a few hours, to uh, going online and uh, engaging in, in communities on Reddit, on uh, YouTube, and uh, things like that, screenwriting communities. Uh, I'm realizing that um, there is. Uh, this is one of those things I've never really looked back and, and uh, you know, I've just always kind of kept my head down and just learning and for the first time I'm kind of looking back or lifting my head up and, and realizing I have all this information and looking back at, at some of these people that are just starting out and um, thinking, holy crap, uh, you know, I could really help them. And this is the 100% honest truth. My reasoning behind it is so that they don't... Um, uh, kill themselves or someone else or live in misery um, because this industry going back to what I said about these people writing their first script or whatever and, and just the the amount of rejection and and like pain that that can really cause is just it it takes somebody who's unemotional and, and who can get uh, their face kicked in repeatedly not only get their face kicked in but enjoy it um, I just I haven't talked to anybody in this business who wouldn't agree with me who's put time in so uh, if I can if I can eliminate some of that and you know destroy some of these roadblocks and 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 get rid of this, you know, alluring Hollywood curtain uh, that's been built up since uh, since the invention of the camera. Well, then uh, I would think that's a success because far too many people have profited and um, have, you know money and power. Um, and yes, a lot of good has come from it, but uh, also a lot of bad. And for such a pure and innocent art form. And again, uh, movies are, have never let me down. They're, I'm, they're very important to me. Uh, stories are in general. But um, it's such a beloved, innocent art form that gets shit on constantly and has been used 
by people who do not have other human beings' best intentions in their forefront. And it's time for that to stop. And so, I'm going to do it. I'm going to need help. Uh, and I'm not going to do it alone. But I will be the one that lights the match. Uh, and so the cool thing, I think, is that not only am I saying something that's completely crazy, no landish, but I'm documenting every step of the way. If they would just pay attention and watch and look, they would see what's happening right underneath their eyes. But they won't, and they don't. And um, this is the kind of first time I've ever put myself really boldly out there and said it, but uh, the uh, my path is very clear. And um, uh, me, my, I know what my aspirations are, and they're very big, and, and I have zero doubt that I will not achieve them. Uh, and this is just going to be proof, and I hope this is going to inspire so many other people to say, fuck it, and uh, do it themselves. Um, you don't have to necessarily document the whole journey, but I'm going to do it um, just to prove that it can be done. Now, we may not find this out for another 10 years but guess what i'm okay with that strangely okay with that because i'm good every single day every single day i live as though it were my last and i will die to f live for tomorrow yeah that's an interesting one i'll die to live for tomorrow it's kind of true two extremes Pulling from both ends. Um, there we go. That's it. These I'm going to add in my lookbook. Um, huh. uh, if you're watching this, thank you very much. Please leave a comment. I will read them all. I will respond. Let me know what you'd like to see. Let me know if anything was useful. Um, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Share this video. Mean the world. Uh, that's all I ask. And if you don't, it doesn't matter because I'm still going to do it. Continue to do this anyway. Uh, that's it. Rhino Riders vlog turns 40. Post-it notes are down. I'm in a weird space. But um, here's to looking forward to uh, the next chapter in the process. Later.